What's going on my friends and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be talking about how to stay consistent on YouTube to grow fast. This is for all my friends out there who are having a hard time managing to put out content regularly. Uploading videos at a consistent rate is important to growing a successful YouTube channel and believe me I know that it's difficult especially when you're starting out but hey take it easy man. Take a deep breath and you're gonna be fine. Because in this video, I'll be sharing with you my top five strategies on how to stay consistent on YouTube so that you can grow your YouTube channel fast and be as famous as I am. <laughs> so strategy number one is to really think about why you're making videos on YouTube. Is it because you want to help other people or make a side income with it? Is it the process of creating and sharing your passion with others or delivering a certain message? What is it? Whatever it is, it has to be a strong reason you believe in. Once you have the answer, I recommend writing it down somewhere so that you can keep track of it during your YouTube journey. I have written my answers in Notion, which is basically an all-in-one workspace where you can take notes, add tasks, manage projects, and more. So for me, the reason why I make videos on YouTube is because I'm hoping to turn my YouTube channel into a full-time business so that I can earn a decent income to support my family and continue to keep creating videos to inspire and help other creators become better at filmmaking and achieve their own success. Whenever I have doubts, I exercise my motivation and remind myself of what's most important. Because when you have a clear focus, all your actions drive towards the end goal. Let's move on to our second strategy, which is plan your content ahead. This will save you a lot of energy in the long run. I, for example, have a list of video topics, ideas written down in Notion because before I even start working on a video, I first have to have a proper keyword title. For that, I use the tool called TubeBuddy for researching relevant topics for my YouTube channel. So if I type in how to grow on YouTube on the related search panel, I have the option to click on other keywords to find better keyword results. If I click on how to grow on YouTube 2021, it tells me that there is some competition and that the search volume is high enough to make this a great keyword target. If you're interested in TubeBuddy, I have a link in the video description below. You could also use the search bar on the home page of YouTube. So if I type in how to edit videos on iPhone, YouTube will then suggest other relevant keywords on that topic. For example, how to edit videos on iPhone for YouTube. Once I've selected the right keywords and and found my idea, I write them down in Notion. This way I can always head back and just pick a topic that I would like to talk about for my next video. So with that said, research your ideas ahead of time to make your life a bit easier. Strategy number tres is optimizing your workflow. When starting out on YouTube, it can feel overwhelming on how many things you have to learn. Really take it one step at a time and keep improving small things as you create your videos. When I started out, I didn't really have a workflow and publishing videos once a week made it very difficult. But as I kept going, I started to optimize my workflow so that I was able to make quality videos weekly. A great tip is to have your home studio set up ready where you can just turn on the lights and hit the record button. Also creating videos ahead of time, for example, batch producing where you record multiple videos in one day will not only help you with the consistency, but will also save you a lot of time. For example, a couple of weeks ago, I planned to take a week off to visit Ticino, which is located at the southern part of Switzerland. The week before my departure, I made sure to have two videos ready, which one would be published during that week on Friday and the other one for next Friday, where I then would be in Ticino. I had to scale down on the complexity of the video in order to make two videos that week. And that's fine, you know, don't stress too much about it and just focus on creating consistent content as good as you can. Strategy number four is to get rid of distractions. There are days where I just don't feel like writing a new script for my next video and start fall into distractions where I start cleaning the apartment to get the feeling of being productive or start playing video games or watching Netflix series. And once you fall into that trap, you just start losing focus and it becomes harder to start with the task you have initially planned to do. So what I did is I immediately got rid of some of the major distractions at home to maintain a clear focus on what's important. 
I sold my PlayStation 4 and Wii U, where I then had more time to watch Netflix. Uh, I mean, I meant to have more time working on my YouTube channel. Now, during the summer, for example, I like to bring out my laptop to work outside where I'm away from distractions, and this simple step already helped me to be more productive. When I work at home, I set my iPhone to flight mode to avoid having notification pop up, which also helps increase my focus. I also take breaks in between and go for a walk to clear my mind and refill my energy to continue the task later. So yeah, my advice to you, remove distractions. That is the best way to focus and be more productive and get into that flow state. Strategy number five is to ask for help. When I started out with YouTube, I had the feeling that I'd had to do everything by myself. You'll be surprised of how many people are willing to help you with your video. Don't be afraid to reach out to families or friends to ask for help. Also reach out to other content creators on YouTube that you look up to and live nearby to set up a meeting. A good example is George. This is what he wrote me. Hey Bennett, how are you? I've met you once at the smartphone meetup, but for sure you don't remember me. I would like to invite you for a drink here in Zurich to speak about photography, filmmaking, etc. I watch your new YouTube channel and I would like to speak about it. You know, I thought he seems like a cool guy. Why not meet up with him? So we set up a meeting at a restaurant and he was willing to help me out with my YouTube videos in return to learn more about filmmaking. Not only did the production value of my videos increase with his help, but we also have become very good friends. George was one of the first ones to reach out to me. That was around a year ago. As of today, I get more and more messages from people living around Zurich that would like to meet me, which is totally awesome but I currently just don't have the time to meet each and every one of you, which I'm really sorry, but I have this plan on organizing a meetup. So definitely stay tuned for that. I'll keep you guys posted on Facebook. The drink is on you though. I like coffee lutz. So to wrap this up, just keep in mind that it takes time to build something great. You probably heard it before. Zurich wasn't built in one day, or was it Rome? That's why in order to be successful on YouTube, you will have to build around your YouTube channel by uploading videos consistently over time. That's all I have for you today. If this video was helpful, make sure to leave a like. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe so that I can keep creating awesome tutorials for you guys. Also, let me know in the comment section below what your reasons are for starting a YouTube channel. No matter where you're from, I answer all of your questions. So make sure to leave that comment. Thank you so much for watching. Keep your heads up, stay focused, and I will see you in the next video. Mm.